Viva Las Vegas! Viva Las Vegas! Viva Las Vegas! Viva Viva Las Vegas! Hi, here we are at Mix, and this is pretty much one of the last hours of Mix. And I'm here with uh, Y Sedo, right? Yes. Is that how you say it? Yep. Uh, from That's Nokia. Right. And as you know, Nokia is pretty important in the Windows Phone space lately. Mm -hmm. So can you please tell us about um, what, why the Nokia Windows Phone deal is important for Nokia? Oh, yeah, um, certainly. So the, the, um, the, the announcement was made in February mm -hmm. that uh, our Nokia smartphone strategy is going to be uh, Microsoft Windows Phone. So why is it important to both companies? Because we're looking at the, uh, the ecosystems that is out there today, and, and we, think, we, we think that by combining Microsoft and Nokia um, assets, we can actually bring another ecosystem to the competitions. And we think by combining our, uh, our two company assets, uh, Microsoft with their uh, incredible tools, and the new experience of the Windows Phone, mm -hmm. and Nokia's hardware capabilities, and our market share and our reach to the local region, we can. We think combining the two, we have a really, really good chance to be a, you know, a viable um, uh, ecosystem for developers to develop, develop on. Yeah, and, and for and for end users as well. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm coming from Hungary, mm -hmm. and there's pretty much a Nokia shop in every single shopping mall. Yeah. There, right. Mm -hmm. So it's it's that really tells us about. Yeah. Reach. So some of the um, numbers that we just published actually this Monday, for example, Nokia. Uh -huh. Um, we have 112 operators sign up for operator building. Um, that is a big thing for, for the Nokia uh, uh, app uh, OV store today uh, because uh, a lot of the countries that uh, consumers uh, may not be having credit cards or you know, other easy payments. So operator building is actually a very, very um, uh, a good way for them to actually consume content and buy apps. So with 112 operators supporting Nokia, uh, and later on, we're going to expand that with Microsoft. And yeah, Oper to operator bring building the apps to the yeah. to the uh, to the consumer with, with the you know, convenient purchasing. Link. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, it's, and it's, for those who don't know what operator billing is, it's basically when you buy an application and only get only pay it with, with your phone bill. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's that's very very exciting yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. And also also your reach in the in the Asian region mm -hmm. and the other regions, which is basically. Um, a huge population, but not so well known for mm. the Western world, if I may say so. Right? Mm. That's that's pretty important for Microsoft as well. Yeah, and developers yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, I think a lot of the uh, smartphone markets uh, today um, is still in you know uh, a lot of the um, country where um, the media are covering a lot. Uh, so, but there are a huge population uh, that we know of, and we have been connecting them with, with Nokia phones. And we know mm -hmm. them that a lot of them are actually interested in applications, consuming content on their phones. So, and then we have a lot of knowledge in those re local regions, so we're going to bring that to the ecosystem. We're going to have local sales force, we're going to have you know, uh, people go into the sh shops and go into the store and, and show people how to use their phones or you know, buying apps. Okay. So can, can you tell us anything about the actual devices that you're working on? Uh, there's been rumors that uh, you would release uh, at least two phones very soon. Well, very soon is, you know... Well, we, we did release two Symbian phones this week mm -hmm. uh, in, a, in an event in London. Um, so uh, the two phones that we released this week is actually uh, a, uh, X7 and E6. Those are actually Symbian phones, yes. so, so those, those are not rumors. The, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. two phones are already out. Uh, with the new Symbian improvement, the new Symbian um, uh, version is called Symbian Anna. And we have improved uh, UI and icons and improved browsers on, on those uh, devices. Um, so, and then for the Windows Phone um, uh, space, um, because you know, we just made the announcement, we're still working yes, with Microsoft yes, on all, all of the details, uh, we expect a significant volume of Windows Phone is going to come in in 2012. Uh, mm -hmm. When Nokia say significant volume, we mean significant volumes. <laughs> it's not just a few million, I guess. Uh, 
I can quote you the numbers, but uh, you know, a lot of our phones have been very successful are over that number. Yes, um, yes. So you can you can just kind of imagine that. Um, so of course, you know, it will take some time to roll in different markets. So at the same time, um, to the to the market that we think will be reach, reachable by the Symbian phone only, then we will continue to ship Symbian phone to those markets. So, um, so all in all, for for, for a short term, for the next uh, couple of years, um, developers working with Nokia, they they. They can uh, work on the Symbian phones because it's a, it's a very large install base already mm -hmm. with the Q framework. Um, we already ship 75 million touch based devices and we're expecting to sell uh, or to ship 150 million more Symbian phones um, during this transition period and years to come. Yeah, so those, those are pretty huge numbers. That's a huge number yeah. because yeah. If, if you imagine, yeah, if you make one 99 cent, if you can able to sell your app or, or each and every single phone, you already. You know, yeah, pretty well. Pretty well. Few million yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, million Nokia years. has quite a lot of freedom yes. in terms of how you, how you can, uh, how you can change the. Ex uh, basically, you have a lot of freedom with Windows Phone that other, mm -hmm. other hardware vendor partners of Microsoft don't have. How do you, how do you want to to live with this freedom? Well, uh, that we don't know yet. I mean, when, until the. The, the process, the partnership process is actually right now, then we can uh, uh, adjust those questions about how much freedom or, or not. But the key, the key point is that at the end of the day, um, Windows Phone ecosystem is the, the ecosystem. We won't want to fragment uh -huh. the developer experience or the consumer experience. Mm -hmm. So um, to what extent, what will change, we don't know yet. But, the end goal is to provide consumer and developer with a unified experience, not fragmented. So that's a very key objective that we, you know, we're we going to have to achieve. Um, so, so basically developers can be relieved that you're not going to release a, um, a, a phone with another resolution or a very low power CPU well, or something like that. I mean the like resolution that. is... It, 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 there's two resolutions. It, it could, you could yeah. do different versions, but I think the point is uh, the, the apps uh, should be, you know, have to be compatible, and yeah. different, even if the different resolution, if, mm -hmm. if the framework allows you, then you can have you know, one app and for all the resolutions. Yeah. So the, the, the key point is that the, uh, the development is not fragmented, and the experience is not fragmented. So, yes, it's up to uh, Microsoft and Nokia together, and other, also other vendors in the ecosystem to make that happen for the developer. But again, the key point is the developer experience should be. You know, unify, and then also the consumer experience is, mm -hmm. is good. Uh, all, but of course, you know, Nokia can bring differentiating factors into the into the consumer experience mm -hmm. because we have a contribution to the hardware. For example, it's it, it also part of the consumer experience. If you, you know, if you use a phone, you have you know a better um, you know uh, connection to the video, such as HDMI or something uh -huh. like that, uh, or um, you know the uh, the quality. The, you know, you the camera the quality is pretty good. <laughs> camera good, quality. Yes. We able to integrate. You know some you know huge megapixels or, or very good quality camera autofocus and you know twelve megapixel mm -hmm. camera mm -hmm. that that kind of thing into into the new hardware. And so that will bring our strength to to, to the consumer. To the platform. And, yeah. and they will know this is an okay phone. I trust that from you. Okay, and yeah. um, finally, just one last question. Yeah. You've been here pretty much all three days, right? Yeah. And um, what 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 uh, what are the people most interested in? Yeah, I think uh, it's a very uh, common and, and uh, question that uh, that the developer come by and interested in Nokia, and they would, you know, the first question is, you know, you hear the Mix conference, or do you have a Windows Phone? Um, so that that's the most common question, and uh -huh. it's understandable. Uh, so. I already told you the answer. Uh, we're working really hard with, our, with the partner, Microsoft, to yes. get that uh, going. So we cannot comment on anything that uh, we don't have. Uh, but obviously, I mean, our whole company is very excited to, to get things out. Uh, yeah. Starting from our CEO down to engineers, we're excited. And we know we have to get you know, physical phones to consumer developers mm -hmm. to actually mm -hmm. uh, mean something, right? You know, the okay. real thing. Um, and then, and then the other kind of question, obviously, is you know, after that is you know, how the you know, what kind of uh, um, benefits is the partnership is going to bring to developers? Yes, because it's a developer conference. So, yes. like I said, I mean, we 
uh, Microsoft is expanding their market, uh, but mm -hmm. Nokia already have a huge market yeah. presence. Yeah. Uh, not, uh, not only in terms of the uh, uh, the handset that they ship, but also in terms of operator building and the OV store. And we actually uh, one thing that we didn't talk about is actually the OV store in Nokia has already reached five million downloads per day. Mm -hmm. so that's per day. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's five million day. people downloading every day. So that kind of you know. Um, uh, um, volume and reach is going to be. Are we going to bring that experience to to the Windows Home system? And, and so, that's going to help the use so, the developers. As exactly. Well. So, so for the developers, they're excited to know about this. Yeah. And they're excited to know about uh, our reach. And so they they think the um, the ecosystem has a good good uh, progress and good good way to go. And mm -hmm. I think a lot of them are very committed to to developing for Windows Home. All right, all right. And how do you like the conference? Oh, I, I, I like it. I, I was able to go to some of the Windows Phone sessions. Excellent. And also the uh, Windows, um, the IE9 on, on mobile phone session. I think um, the, the tools and the, uh, the, the, the session really show um, uh, the, the extensive knowledge of mm -hmm. Microsoft having in, 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 the, uh, in the language space and then in you know, the data binding with, with the civil AI and, yes. and then automatic. And then it's one foundation, you know, that's very powerful. Uh -huh. And the, the tools are, are, are amazing, a lot of capabilities. Yes, they are. And I think everyone agreed that, you know, these are the state of the art and, you know, industry leading tools. So we, uh, me as, as in a partner, I'm looking at the tools, I'm very, very, very pleased with the progress and the tools and also the knowledge that um, Microsoft can bring to the developers. Okay, excellent. Uh, uh, right, thank you very much for your time you. and I really appreciate your sharing with us. Uh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs>